Today we're in downtown Leeds, which is best known for being the hometown of Beard Meets Food. Ba 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 ba. We walked from the hotel room all the way to this challenge. We wanted to walk the same streets that Beard Meets Food walks to try to capture his essence a little bit. Maybe it would help us in this challenge. They serve a wide variety of food here at Meat Liquor as well as a lot of drinks. This looks like a very trendy restaurant. I'm a little bit surprised they have an eating challenge here, but this is an extremely popular eating challenge here in England. It is called the Triple Chili Challenge. That's actually what we're here for. We went inside and this place is decorated exactly as I pictured Adam's living room to look like, including the photo booth right there in the middle of the living room. I had to take a piece of this back home somehow. I found these great looking coasters over here and they somehow made it back to the bar at my house. We went straight downstairs, which is where all the action's at. By action, I mean that's where the food is. We were greeted by more crazy Adam Rand decorating. This is just his style. I'm surprised this isn't his home bar. I'll have to ask him next time I see him. Here's the handles for the place. Uh, the real reason we're here, this is where we want to end up at the end of this video. This is the wall of fame. These are all the people that were able to beat this challenge inside 10 minutes. Looks pretty simple, right? Just these three items right here. How hard could it be? Well, you saw the wall of winners. There are not that many. There's been over 500 people that attempted the challenge at this location. So, rules are very simple. You need to eat everything within 10 minutes. At the end, when everything is finished, nothing has to be left in the tray, nothing has to be left in the tongue, everything has to be swallowed. Okay. If you don't finish it within 10 minutes, it will cost us, it will cost you 36 pounds 20 each. Okay. If you finish it, it's free. If you finish it within 10 minutes, it's free. If you hit the record of the size of 4 minutes 46, you get 10% off any time you come and dine with us uh, until somebody uh, hits your record. Okay, as simple as that. Okay. Let's get Very eating. Good. Here we are at Meat Liquor in Leeds. They have nine locations throughout the country, mainly down south of England. They have a, a triple chili challenge. It's a, a smash burger, hot dog, and fries. The special thing is the smash burger. They are the first people in all of England to bring the smash burger. It was like top secret hit since it spread out to England, but they, they are very successful almost 10 years in this location. We have 10 minutes to do this challenge, but they also have a record. So it's 10 minutes free, where it's 36 pounds. And the record is four minutes and 46 seconds. And the nice thing about the record is if you break the record, you get 10% off all your future purchases at Meat Liquors until someone breaks your record. I'm not sure how it's going to come in our play because we're leaving the country soon, but we'll give it a go. We're going to enjoy this and, and try to put up a decent time. Yeah, we'll do that. But thanks for Brandon for filming with me, and thank you for all the patrons that made this possible. We're going to list you guys at the end. You have the red, the, you have the black. Okay. Ready, set, go. Even though we're racing against the 4.46 record time, I'm still going to try to be neat, at least at this point in the video. Eat the toppings off this sausage first, and then the sausage. It ended up being very deceptive. I thought it was a hot dog, but honestly, it was like a, a Slim Jim, a really big, thick Slim Jim. It tasted good, but it was very chewy. Uh, I ended up having to take very small bites just to get through it. But so far, we're doing pretty good for the first part of the video. That sausage is tough. It's a little swallow. I was looking forward to the smash burger the most out of all three of the items here. I was glad when I finally got to it. This really is a good tasting burger. It's not my favorite bun, but the burger itself was a very enjoyable burger. Only been one minute, guys. Let your time. <laughs> one minute in, and I'm going to finish off this burger, and then I have these chili fries in front of me. I made a strange decision for myself and just decided to go go off on these. I'm going to use my hands and make a big mess. It's just going to be so much quicker than using the utensil. I'm not even sure if I had a utensil there, to be honest with you. 
But I'm still going to try to eat this neatly. I'm not going to smash them up or do anything like that. I'm just going to kind of pick them up, throw them down. And for those of you that requested a video like this, this is as close as I get to speed eating. Uh, I'm still trying to keep it neat a little bit. But I also want to enjoy the food somewhat. Uh, I have to admit, there wasn't a lot of enjoyment in this particular video. Uh, it's just too quick to eat this way. Two minutes in, we're both over halfway done. We just have the fries left now. I'm feeling very comfortable for the 446. This was a very nice day on our trip. It was day six, our 11th challenge in six days. Uh, this was the only one we did this day because I was on Beard's podcast, Breaking Beard, later that day. Uh, so this was such an easy day. I did not have to drive. I've been worn out driving all over England. It is so tough to doing all these challenges back to back and driving everywhere. It is just brutal. I'm getting too old for this stuff. So this even though it's not my favorite type of video to do speed eating, this was such a pleasure to do. Let's wind this thing up. We're going to, I know we're going to finish under 446. Who is going to finish faster? It doesn't really matter. We just want one of us for sure to come in under the record and put someone from the States on top of the board. Is that good? Yeah, draws the tongue. Fantastic. New records. Nice job. <laughs> All right. Yeah, mm. 3.05 and 3.12 for you. Nice. All right. Wow, that was a quick challenge. It was very deceptive. I thought that was a traditional hot dog like we have in the yeah. States. It was more like a Slim Jim sausage combo. Yeah. Like chewy like a good. Slim Jim. It tasted great. But when I first bit into it, I was like, whoa, I didn't go through the hot dog. Um, <clears throat> that was a quick challenge. It was a lot of fun. I don't normally do speed challenges, but Brandon and I are somehow getting roped into doing speed challenges here when they tell us the records and like, uh, we're here, might as well. Might as well, as long as we're here. But I want to thank Meat Liquor for hosting us. Thank you very much. Thank you, guys. Big thanks to Brandon. Check his links in the description below. And also for all the patrons that made this possible, we really appreciate it. Without your support, we wouldn't have been here filming this and we just want to make sure we, we show you our appreciation. Thanks for coming to another video, and I'll see you guys again soon. Then we got the honor of getting our pictures taken, which over 500 people somehow did not get this honor. And then they placed us at the top of their wall of fame. Come give it a try if you're in the area, and set a new record. <laughs>